So I'm here with Tay and Kylie, and they, uh, man, we've we've known each other for a couple a couple of years. I'd say a few years. Um, they've been uh, for the jump since the church started, and so we're in our uh, Stories Among Us uh, series, and we thought it would be just an awesome opportunity to to have uh, uh, neighbors of the church that are not only neighbors but have uh, helped the church in its growth, and so. Um, uh, I wanted to start off with a few questions uh, and just really kind of get how we got to know each other. Uh, I know we're neighbors, but you know, not all neighbors actually get to know each other. So Tang, Kylie, can you kind of uh, let, let us know uh, how, how, did, how did we get to know each other? How did we meet? So I'm, I'm really a, a helpful person and I've seen uh, Keenan was struggling to bring some stuff inside, so I offered to help him. And from there for on, he's been a great for the for this church. Fantastic. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, exactly. I remember you. I was taking some uh, some stuff out, waters and heavy things, and Tang just came up to me and just said, "Hey, if you need some help, uh, just just holler at me." So I said, "Hey, come on over." And so he started helping. So, um, Kylie, do you remember? Uh, how how we met at all? I think you just ended up getting tagged along. Yeah, you just got he tamed, just tagged you along, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys you guys have lived in this area. How long have you guys lived in this area? Uh, about six years now. I've been in look, I've been in this area since I my auntie stays on six. I've been in the hood since I was born. All right. So you, yeah, you've lived in, in this area for a while. Um, yeah. uh, can you share uh, uh, some changes in this area since um, th the church was planted? So y'all saw before, um, y'all saw before uh, what what was going on in this area. Uh, kind of tell us what was going on in your perspective before we actually came. Before you guys came, I mean, people would sell illegal stuff to people right in front of kids on this street, mm. which was horrible. Mm. But now that you guys came, I've been seeing a lot more. I've been seeing that the cops have been putting this street on their routes, mm -hmm. which is really good. I've been seeing a lot more kids. I didn't even know there was that much kids that lived around here until you guys built it. So I see a lot more kids come to the basketball hoop and and play, you know, they make friends. Everybody meets new friends by playing on that basketball hoop mm -hmm. in the back. And yeah, that was, I, I feel like you had something to do with the basketball hoop too, because we was talking and you were like, man, it'd be really cool to have a basketball hoop. Yeah. And then I was like, we're trying to raise money for that. And then like, like the next couple of weeks, you was like, you wasn't playing, huh? <laughs> no, you was not playing. But yeah, that's just the, uh, that's just the community responding to to really we know that God is here. You guys so, helping the hood out that that's a lot. It 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 may not show, but it definitely means a lot to the people that have actually been here through all the bad times in the hood, you know. Yeah. I think again, you you've been a you and Kylie have been a, a huge part, whether you know it or not, of just being that support um in different ways. And so we'll get into some of those ways pretty soon. Um Right now, how have, how have you been a part of the development of this church? I help out with the church as much as possible. They mm -hmm. need their grass cut. I come in and cut out. I use a shovel there, the snow. Mm -hmm. And I just help the church out as much as possible, the best way I can. Yep. I remember you drugged. So we, we had a, a, a basement cleanup. And uh, I asked, I asked you, would you be able to help? And then you drug Kylie into it. How was that, Kylie? Dirty, <laughs> but we got it cleaned. It was, it's super clean down there now. I mean, we had, you know, we had raccoons down there. We had, you know, what I mean, we drove them out before y'all got there. But uh, this because this place was abandoned for a long time before you guys got here. Yeah, before they got here, this was a four oaks building. I used to be in here when I was a little kid, so mm -hmm. it, it's kind of dope that you guys are fulfilling the recreation. Yeah, restoring it. Uh, that's that's what, one of the things that we we want to continue to do as a church is like restore. You know, how a lot of 
a lot of organizations might like break something down and then build it back up, but we thought that this was just an important piece of the community. Yeah, this is this is a landmark. It yeah, definitely is a landmark. What is what does this building mean to you? My childhood. I used to come to this uh, upstairs. There used to be a used to be the computer room, and a bunch of my friends. We would just go up there and play. Come back, go back to the house. You know, they used to have skills, chips, all that. They used to look out for the people. I don't know what happened. Yeah. It just closed, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, Tang and, and Kylie, they're just, they're being really modest, but they, you know, they helped with cleaning the basement. They helped mop the floors. They helped clean, paint. They've done a lot of, of service in the background, sometimes for free. Um, and so um, those are the type of people that, uh, we, we come alongside, right? We're, we're in this community together. Whether you come to uh, uh, church on a Sunday or not, uh, that's the work of God, right? Um, that's, that's church right there, uh, coming together and really helping each other out. That's what God wants to see. And so we, um, we really salute that. And um, we, we count, count you guys um, from, from day one, uh, congregants, people who are ab about the, the beloved community. So. How have you seen, um, um, how, have you, how has the neighborhood benefited from kind of this, this community, uh, this church community uh, being around? Like I said, I see a lot more kids come out. They come out to play, you know? And the wishing box helps, the wishing box helps yeah, out a lot. Right. Yep. You know? yep. And like I've always said, you know, there's places where some people just get discriminated, but here I see whites, I see blacks, all kids play together, you know? Mm -hmm. Nobody gets judged. It's, it's a fantastic spot. Yeah, and y'all raising a y'all raising a family, so that, that means a lot, right? Like, you, you want to raise a family in a place where, you know, you're here now, so you want a safe place for your family. Right. You want to introduce uh, your little you girl? You fixed the alley for us. You got the alley fixed for us. That was fantastic. I, I meant to say that. Yeah, he fixed the alley for us. It was so bad before he got here, but you know, Keenan does his superpowers and God works in every single different ways. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who do we got here? This is my daughter, Aviana, five months old. Yeah, we wanna, I was, I was saying, we wanna have a place where, where you know, it's safe for kids to, to to interact. interact and be raised. And I think uh, having, it's really cool. I'm gonna go on to that next question. Um, but part of the, uh, the, the important thing about a community is that the community takes care of each other. Yeah. And one of the things that you guys have done, uh, one of the things that you guys have done um, is you've, take, you've helped um, protect the church in, in, in a many different ways. And so we value mutual respect and relationship here. And, and so I want, would want you guys to share some of the stories in which your family have taken pride and ownership in watching over this building. Um, her mom <laughs> seen some kids uh, vandalizing the wishing box. And she told them like, hey, you better leave that wishing box alone. There's cameras. And they ran off. Mm -hmm. There's been a... There's been a slight, a slight, they've been really good with, like, most of the bad people that the mothers don't want their kids to see have, this, have just left. You know, it's a good spot to, to have kids, to have your kids here. They do events, and it's fantastic. Yeah, you, you guys, um, I think your sister, uh, she calls the church every time she, uh, she uh, sees something that's not not so savvy, and so she'll she'll call. I think she I got a message from her like two weeks ago, and so um, I think I feel like I feel like when when the staff isn't here, we have like this other staff <laughs> full time. Uh, yeah, full time. Uh, your whole family um, uh, taking care of the church in, in in a way that's in a way that's good. I mean, you're not you're not scaring people away, but you're 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 actually taking ownership and saying, "Hey, this is this is something good, right? We don't want to lose this." No, we do not. And so, uh, this is something good and it's and it's a community uh, thing. It doesn't it's not just me and Pastor Stephanie or the staff. 
it's it's the community thing and so um, yeah what are uh, what are some other ways do you guys remember kind of how your family has um, kind of taken ownership um, uh, at all we just love we just love this place you know we've had our baby shower here it was it was a great this is a great building it's definitely historic it may not be a sign outside but deep down this is an historic building mm -hmm. and they're still using it that is that's awesome awesome well thank you so much for y'all time um we we cherish you guys's relationship and we want to continue to to grow together this this is a, um, a church that uh, we are for the neighborhood. We don't just like care about if we have millions of people on a Sunday. Um, if, if we have tons of people on a Sunday, but we're not having a positive change in the community, to me, that's a loss. And so I think you guys um, are a representation of like really who we are. We want to, we want to come alongside with what God is doing in and, and through people. Um, is there anything like, is there anything, uh, last, last words of, of just like, have you seen or noticed anything spiritual that, that has happened in your heart when it comes to- I'm more to, of a presence person. You yeah. Know? I feel presence. Yeah. And when I first got over here, you know, it felt the same. Like before you guys got here, it just felt like a, you know, a bad environment, but like, now that you guys are, are over here and you guys do what you do for the hood, you know, you definitely feel a presence, a good vibe, great vibe, you know, it's, it's fantastic. Do you feel that, do you feel that, I mean, as far as like spirituality, like there is a, a sense of like closeness or yeah, hope. nearness of God? We got hope now, you know, yeah. we have hope on this street, you know, it's mm -hmm. hope, it's not just, just pray, you know, we got, we have hope, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what hope goes a long way. That's good. Kayla, any last words? Nope. Any last words? <laughs> no, I got my fingers in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, thank y'all uh, both again for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yep.